So the next topic is calorimetry. And calorimetry is essentially where you have a container, an insulated container, okay? So this is insulated. And you have a partition in the middle. So this is our partition that separates. Okay, so this is actually uh, enclosed here as well. Okay. In here, you have material A, and in here, you have material B. The reason why it's insulated is so that we don't have any transfer of energy in or out of the system. Now this material, let's call material A a liquid and let's call material B a liquid. The reason why I want them to be a liquid is because I'm going to end up mixing them by removing the partition and allowing the two uh, solutions to mix. But before I allow them to mix, I'm going to measure their temperatures. And the initial temperature of A is going to be TAI, and the initial temperature of B is going to be TBI. Now, my goal here is to find the final equilibrium temperature, TF. In other words, when I remove the partition, okay, so I'll say after removing partition, there. After I remove this, solutions A and B are going to mix, and let's, let's kind of uh, make an assumption here to make this an easier thing to understand. Let's assume that A is hot and B is cold. That means that, for example, let's put example here. Let's say that uh, A loses 100 joules of energy, and B gains 100 joules of energy. In other words, the energy that is lost from A goes to warming up B when they're mixed after the partition is removed, right? That means that since this is insulated, since the, the outer container is insulated, the change in energy, the total change in energy is going to be zero, okay? Now, that means that if A loses energy and B gains energy, let me write down the change in energy like this. The change in A and the change in energy of B is going to be zero. In other words, if we take this example that I have over here, right, with the 100 joules, then that means A has a loss of 100 joules and B has a gain of what oops of a gain of 100 joules and the, the the total as one loses 100 the other gains 100 the total is still zero the change in the total you understand i'm not talking about what the total energy is i'm talking about the change because this is insulated that means that Whatever one loses, the other one must gain. Now, since we know that the heat transferred out of a material is defined by the equation Q, or the heat transferred into or out of a material is Q, and we know Q is equal to mc delta T, that means the change in the energy is equal to Q. Okay? in or out. In other words, if it's if it's losing energy, it's a negative Q, and if it's gaining energy, it's a positive Q. That means 
that we can replace this delta with a Q. We can say QA plus QB must still be zero again because the outside container is insulated. Now let's write the equation out. We will say, and we have to be careful with our subscripts here. This is MA CA delta TA plus MB CB delta T B. And all that is going to be equal to zero. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to write out the formula for delta, which is final minus initial. I'm going to apply that to here. So I'm going to say it's MA CA bracket TA final minus TA initial plus MBCB times TB final minus TB initial. And all that is still going to equal 0. Now, what we need to realize here is that after removing the partition and waiting for a while, we reach equilibrium. So after equilibrium is reached, in other words, this, may, this might take a few minutes before they settle down to a common temperature. What we need to re recognize at this point is that the final temperature of both substances are going to be the same. They're going to reach a common sa same temperature. And because of this, mathematically we can replace this term instead of seeing instead of saying TAF and TBF since they're the same value we can just replace it with TF and so now I'm going to do that I'll rewrite this equation but when I do I'm also going to expand okay also expand So I'm going to multiply. So now I'm going to say, OK, that's MA CA TF. Instead of, say, instead of saying TAF, right, I'm going to just say TF. There it is. And now I'm going to say minus MA CA TAI plus MB CB times TF, right? Because this is the same as TF minus MB CB TBI. And all that is still equal to zero. Now at this point, it looks kind of ugly, but don't worry. What we're going to do now is we're going to collect TF terms and isolate them. So the TF terms are here and here. So let's collect those and let's move the other terms. Let's move this guy, this, this guy. Let's move it to the other side. And let's move this guy to the other side. And let's write the whole thing again. So we'll say MA. CATF plus MB CB TF equals now this negative here becomes a positive and also this negative here becomes a positive on the other side of the equal sign so it's MA CA TAI plus MB CB TBI. Now, 
we're going to factor out on the left hand side of the equal sign we'll factor our, our goal remember what was our goal if we, if we kind of look back it's to find the final that's our goal find the final temperature so we're working towards finding what TF is so I'm gonna factor TF out if I do that and I factor TF out now I can put MA CA plus MB CB and now it's equal to the whole right hand side I'll just copy it out again now I'm just simply in order to solve for TF now it's easy right I'm just gonna take this term and divide both sides of the equation by that and I'll finally get my solution which is TF is equal to MACA TAI plus MB CB TBI divided by MACA plus MB CB and I'm done and there is my final answer for the solution to the final temperature now if you think that's an, a simple looking formula I think it's pretty ugly looking myself nonetheless it is correct but gosh it sure it, I think it's kinda difficult to memorize unless you recognize a pattern in this formula if I write this formula again like this if I say a T A plus B T B divided by A plus B now this formula looks a lot more easy for my brain to memorize you see because with all these subscripts here gosh my, my eyes are going kind of boggly whereas with this one it's really much easier to memorize it's just ATA plus BTB divided by A plus B to me that's easy to memorize I can do that well the only thing you gotta remember now is that A is MACA and B is MBCB that's easy to do too see so now you can see A is replacing MACA B is replacing MBCB and the temperatures I've just gotten rid of the eyes because after all there's, there's only one final temperature and it's right here therefore the TA and the TB have to be initial and we're dividing by MACA plus MBCB which is just another way of represented A plus B so this is a much easier way of memorizing this equation you don't have to go through the derivation every time although I did want to show you how to de derive the formula for calorimetry's final temperature after equilibrium is reached after you remove the partition between the two objects and allow them to mix so there you go uh, and there's some uh, practice problems you can try to do for this.